Hello guys, today we're going to create this. I know you're probably like, wait, isn't it just a normal gravity? No. No, it's not. This is in fact artificial planet-like gravity. I think it's called Fox gravity or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, it's cool and easy to do, like subscribing to the channel, what the fuck, why did I roll? Now go ahead and create a sprite, slap on it some free arid asset and give it a nice 2D collider. Also create on it a script called the tractor, this will be our planet. Create another sprite, slap on it another arid asset, give it a 2D collider and a rigid body 2D. Then create on it a script called the tracted. Keep in mind that in my system, anything that is on the layer attractable that you are now going to create by going to layer, clicking on add layer and typing the new layer name, would be attracted to the attractors. The attracted script is for you to create some specific behaviors for your attracted objects. In this case, we will implement the option to rotate toward the ground so it would look like a character, for example, is walking on it. Let's go over the code of the attractor script. So basically you have the attraction layer, which the objects that should be attracted would be on. The gravity parameter controls the strength of the gravity pool, and the attraction objects is a list that contains all of the objects that should be attracted. On awake will cache the transform of the planet. Each frame in the update method will set the attracted objects. This one line uses the overlap circle all function that returns an array of the colliders that are overlapping with a certain radius and are on the attracted layer. In the fixed update function, we'll call the function attract objects, which iterates through all of the objects that are in the attracted objects list. We get a wanted attracted object. From it, we get a attractable script. Using it, we'll call attract. In the attract function, we're passing the this keyword as a parameter, which is like saying pass this script as a parameter. Then, for convenience, we're calling the onDrawGizmo selected function, and are drawing a sphere with the radius of the affection radius using the drawWireSphere function. Now go and open up the attracted script. We're creating a bool that will determine whether we want to rotate to the center of the planet or not. And we'll cache the transform collider and rigid body of the object. So before we're going into the update method, do you remember we are calling the attract method from the attractor script? Well, this is how it works and what it does. The function is actually responsible for the movement of the object towards the center. We are calculating the attraction vector, which is the distance vector. Then we are adding force to the direction of this vector while multiplying with the gravity and time dot fix delta time. I've just noticed that, but I was actually calculating the distance vector with the opposite way, so that's why there is a minus before the gravity. After we are adding the force, we are setting our current attractor to the, um, well, current attractor. We'll use this to rotate our player. So, back to the update method, we're checking that the current attractor is not equal to null. Each frame will check if the attractor object still contains our collider in its attracted objects list. If the object is not in the list, we're setting current attractor to null since we're currently not attracted to a planet. Then we'll check if we would like to rotate and if we will, we'll call the rotate to center function. This function is using trigonometry to determine the angle we want to rotate with. Then, we are rotating the player using quaternion.angle axis. I am adding here 90 degrees because I want that the player transform.app will be directed at the opposite direction of the planet. I made a video that explains it better, so it should just, you know, pop up at the top of the video. Now you can go to the attractor, select the layer that you'd like to attract, and don't forget to set the gravity of the attracted object to zero in the rigid body component. If you want the result of the start of the video, disable rotate to center, gives it a sort of realistic physics. And that's it. I'm just gonna head and add the background. If you've learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if I will not be continued to be buttfucked by school assignments, I might even upload another video next week. So stay tuned. And subscribe so you won't miss it.